In this video, we're gonna talk about Hunt Unleashed, a supernatural fugitive on the hunt. You'll see what I mean later on. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of The Scorched, issue number 34, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in The Scorched, a new hunt has appeared and broken loose from the custody of the agency. She is now on the hunt. Oh, Lord. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know why I did that. But anyways, let's take it forward over here. Let's get into the content, man. I'm over here acting silly. So springtime in New York City, the woman walking down the street captures the eyes of everyone she passes. She's not a person who normally wants to attract attention, but in this case, standing out is the best way to avoid standing out. Initially, that didn't make no damn sense to me, but the reason why it makes sense is because no one expects her to look like this. And that is Jessica Priest asking Mark Rosen if she can join. And Mark is like, okay, uh, yeah, make make yourself comfortable but mark doesn't realize that it's his friend his fellow scorch partner jessica priest looking fine and i see that why that disguise makes the most sense now she can't look like jessica priest she has to look a little bit extra if you get my guess you know if you get my drift so she tells him it's a disguise rosen in case either of us are tilled now put your eyes back in your head we need to talk and he's like well you're looking fine girl <laughs> that's not relevant right now mark I mean, Mark is like, look, I mean, you look recovered after what Hunt did to you in China. And that's going back to The Scorch issue 32 a couple issues back when you get a glimpse of that. Yeah, that's exactly what Hunt did to her. But you could check out the issue, the review we did to get more context of it. So Jessica Priest is like, look, the agency has some talented doctors when they repaired me. But be sure to tell Kilgore I won't forget the scars he gave me. That who is the Hunt, Daniel Kilgore. And Mark is like, but that was your idea? You told him to make it look real? Did it work? She's like, yeah, it works. I mean, when trust me now, he upped my agency security clearance, so I almost have full access to the place. Well, what about the explosives that he had planted in you, said Mark. Well, they're disabled. Hunt managed to hit each and every one of them while making it look like he was trying to kill me. So look, Mark says, Jessica, I told you I'd find out what happened to Medieval. Now I'm in a position to do so, but I need to warn you about what's coming and what's coming is she gets into that story she hadn't been cleared for the active duty by the agency doctors because she was still recovering from those injuries caused by a hunt that she ordered him to do so she did some off hour investigating on their various operations when an alarm went off remember the female hunt they put redeemer and hunt next to that's what jessica was talking about and that's going back to the scorch issue number 30. they had made a hairline crack in her containment tube when escaping from the agency no one noticed it at first, but that's what allowed her to escape. They sent a small army to put her down. She carved through them like they weren't even there. Nothing they threw at her even slowed her down in the slightest. Even herself included, Jessica Priest, currently being powerless, she wasn't about to go on a suicide mission, especially since the last time she tangled with the hunt, she ended up with surgery for over six hours, and that hunt was her friend. This one is definitely not her friend, so Jessica Priest had two choices, and only one of them made sense, fight or flight. Which one do you think she did? And Jessica Priest tells Mark, that's one of the reasons why I'm talking to you today, Mark. According to its bar readings, this thing was in an almost constant state of agitation since it was put in proximity to Kilgore. But now that it's loose, it's going to be coming for him and the Scorch. So that's why I'm warning you and I have to head back to the agency HQ before I miss. So tell the team to watch their backs because Wynn is still looking for payback. And Jessica Priest leaves Mark with these parting words like, you still look like crap, so get your life together. And Mark's like... <laughs> girl i'm trying but the longer medieval's out of my head the worse i'm getting and for so long i wanted him out of my head but now the emptiness in my head i think is slowly driving me crazy so that's where we end off with that so mark rosen never asked for this life now it seems he can't live without it a life of loneliness without family or real friends with lethal threats around every corner she can relate to that and she didn't ask for this life either but what's done is done every day she's a potential target while somebody is stalking her if the agency is following her she'll need to eliminate them before they can report back in even without powers she can be lethal but she's not the most lethal and that's spawn right there because he holds that title and spawn's just like girl you need to react faster than that next time you deal it with me bruh because they won't be sending someone solo to get you and jessica priest is like i'm a big girl bruh then why was i able to track you and she has an answer that does make sense because you're you and they're not 
So Jessica Priest is like, what do you want, Simmons? I heard you've been having some vampire problems, and that is in, in the most recent Spawn issues. You got to check those out, which we do cover on this channel, by the way. And Spawn's like, yeah, I have been having some vampire problems, but I'm not the one getting bombs implanted into me and getting forced to work for Jason Wynn. How's that working for you? And she's like, boo, it's been handled. And you keep calling me boo one more time, somebody about to get pregnant. Anyways, I digress. So Spawn is like, I know you, Jessica. You're playing angles. Why? It's an end game. I'm getting out. I was like, come on, man. This again? Yes, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of being a foot soldier in your damn war. I'm going to help Rose and get Medieval Spawn back because I made a promise. Then I'm gone. And Spawn's like, it doesn't work that way, baby girl. The enemy doesn't give a shit what you want. You're their enemy. Nothing you do is ever going to change it. So what's this really about? And Jessica Priest has that smirk in her face like, I'm going to kill Wynn. I want my life back. Well, it's not that simple, says Spawn. And before they can go on to this dialogue, we get these homeless gangster brothers like, well, 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 what do we have here? Some kinky stinky is going on. They approach from both sides. Don't matter. We'll take your wallet, dude. Maybe the girl, too. That ain't a maybe. That's a definite. But that's if they can handle that. But Spawn and Jessica don't say a word, but with a single glance, they know exactly what to do. They know the assignment, and what aggravates them the most is that they have to waste even 9 seconds taking down these people right here. It's a waste of time, but it's 9 seconds, so what you gotta do? So, while we admire Spawn's chunkums and Jessica Priest's feet, I wanna take the time to say that this video is sponsored by coffee. If you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in the description or donate to the Super and Thanks because I do these reviews early in the morning before I take my kids to school. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. But with all that being said, <laughs> let's get back into the content. So they know they have to get out of there after taking care of business. But Spawn tells her, don't know if you can pull it off, but before you kill Jason Wynn, tell him I said hi. And Jessica Priest is like, oh, I'll do just that. So back at the home scorched base, there was a time when Mark Rosen would look in the mirror and catch a glimpse of John of York, the man who came to be known as Medieval Spawn. Now he sees nothing. He feels nothing. He's desperate, though, to feel something, anything. Once again, losing Medieval Spawn is bringing bro crazy. And bro is just bringing about the crazy on this mirror as he bashes his head in like, like crazy would do that. But the thing is, he's going to try to do that or die trying to find something to feel something. And the Scorch just look at him like that, all while the case of this new hunt is unleashed. And she is a supernatural fugitive on the hunt for them. And Mark is dealing with that bull jive right now. And they got to deal with that bull jive. But that is the end of The Scorched, issue number 34. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. Also, link in the description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. With all that being said, thank you again for watching. Until next time.